Hello everyone, today is March 16, 2020. Today I wanted to make a short video on the difference between the price of physical silver and the price of paper silver. So physical silver, as you know, this is a one ounce gold coin that you can hold in your hand. And paper silver, these are um, futures contracts or uh, ownership of a percent of an ETF trust where you don't actually own physical gold, you own a piece of paper which uh, gives you the right to take delivery of gold or silver in the future. So where can I buy physical silver? You can buy from any online retailer such as iGold. If you're in the United States, they're very big retailers. Um, there's about seven or eight that are uh, extremely large. Uh, two or three of them can purchase directly from the US Mint. Um, AppMix being one of them and one of our main suppliers. Um, where can you buy paper silver? You can buy paper silver from a commodities exchange like the Comex or an ETF trust like the GLD or SLV. And these uh, paper contracts and uh, investment vehicles are all listed sometimes on the Comex or on the New York Stock Exchange. So what do I receive when I buy physical silver? If you buy physical silver you're going to receive a one ounce gold or silver coin, an American Eagle, Canadian Maple. When you purchase from a retailer you receive the gold in your hand and you take delivery of it you can take it home. If you buy paper silver you receive a paper contract for the right to take delivery in the future. It's basically a paper IOU. Lastly, who decides the price of physical silver? Stores, retailers who buy and sell gold and silver determine their selling price through competition against other businesses. Um, this is basically supply and demand. This is similar to what iGold does. We have one competitor in Israel. Um, we constantly compare prices to see how we rate compared to them. And uh, in the United States, competition is very large. So what you generally find out is that physical silver links very closely to paper silver because every store is trying to undersell their competitor. And who decides the price of paper silver? These, there are multiple factors determining the price of gold futures contracts. The spot price of the gold, this is the price that you can buy a contract at for immediate delivery. The predicted changes in supply and demand for the precious metals, the estimated cost of transporting it and storing it, and also the risk-free rate of return for the holder of the gold. Since the physical gold is not immediately delivered, upon purchase, these trades are primarily electronic. So these are financial transactions. So what can go wrong? Looking at the physical silver market, retailers run out of silver due to the very cheap paper price and also from fear. People rush to buy physical silver. They buy every ounce, which we can see this week. A lot of the big retailers in the United States have such large demand, they've totally sold out of Canadian maples American Eagles, and you're starting to see even the alternative rounds on our selling out. Online retailers, of course, are not going to try and uh, sell at less, uh, at a lower profit. They're actually going to raise their premiums um, if they have any inventory remaining. So we can see this in terms of the American Eagles. Uh, we see most suppliers in the United States where they were selling at $2.20 last week, they're now selling at $9 an ounce premium. So if you are purchasing an ounce of gold, you look at the paper price, you'll see this listed on most websites, even ours, it's $13. You're going to be paying $21 to buy a physical ounce of silver on 16th of March 2020. What can go wrong with the paper silver market? Banks, financial institutions, they start selling their paper silver to raise cash to cover their losses in the stock market, which we've been seeing in the United States especially. This massive selling of contracts, paper derivatives and uh, futures contracts, there's so much selling it drives down the paper price, down what we see today as $13 an ounce. So what is the summary? As of today, the 16th of March, it's going to cost you about $21 to buy a physical ounce of silver. If you want to buy a paper futures contract, you can buy them at $13 an ounce. The price difference is about $9 an ounce. Until the supply of silver can match demand, premiums of retailers will continue to rise and we could very easily see $50 silver again. The paper price might show $10, $8, $6, but the cost to physically buy an ounce of silver from one of the largest retailers in the United States could be as high as $50. Uh, we just have to wait and see. Hi and welcome to iGold Israel's YouTube channel. My name is Joshua Feldman. I'm the director of iGold. iGold has been Israel's trusted bullion dealer in physical gold and silver since 2012. Our company is located in Elat in southern Israel. If you're looking to invest in physical gold and silver bullion products, our company, myself and Arie, are the people to speak to. 
So call us on the number below or visit us on our website www.igold.co.il.